Hi, Susan Leahy here from RobertsRulesMadeSimple.com, coming to you with another episode of Robert's Rules Revealed. Today, we're going to talk about cleaning up messy meetings with Mr. Parliamentarian himself, Jim Stewart. Now before you leave, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single episode of Robert's Rules Revealed. Hi Jim, how are you doing today? Good Susan, I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm always glad to talk to Mr. Parliamentarian. I tell you, it's a privilege for me every time I, I get to interact with you. So thank you for creating the space today as we're going to be really talking about, well, how do people protect themselves and their rights with Robert's Rules of Order and meetings? So let's just kind of jump in. Talk to me first about what are my rights when I'm sitting in a meeting? Uh, you, you have quite a number of rights. The first one is, of course, the right to be there because you're a member of the organization. You have yes. the right to have the information you need in order to make an intelligent, informed decision. Um, you have the right to speak and debate. You have the right to make motions. You have the right to vote. Um, yeah. You have the right to be heard, and you have the same rights to do all those things as everyone else has. Because wow. right. everybody is that's equal a really in the that's, and I, that's really important for people to understand is that everybody has the same rights. And, 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 and Robert's Rules of Order, talk about that a little bit. Why was Robert's created and, and how does it tie to this idea of protecting my rights in a meeting? Well, it, it was created in large part to protect the rights of the members. I mean, one of the first things you see in the introduction when you read it is the purpose of this book is to protect the rights of the members. I mean, it mm. says that in black and white. Um, right, that's its right. main purpose. The fact that, that in protecting people's rights, it allows you to conduct an efficient and effective meeting is a lovely mm -hmm. side effect. But the yes. purpose <laughs> is to protect people's rights. Mm -hmm. And I think what's beautiful about that is that when people feel safe, when they feel protected, when they feel like they're able to participate in the meeting fully, even when decisions are made that are not in their favor, then it's easier to kind of, oh, okay, digest that I'm going to, you know. What people want is a fair opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason mm -hmm. people, the, the major reason that I find people get upset at meetings and cause disruptions and that kind of thing yeah. is because they feel their rights are not being protected, that their rights are being violated, mm -hmm. that they're not mm -hmm. being given the right to speak, that their, maybe their vote isn't being counted correctly, or, or they yeah. think somebody's trying to control what they do or say, and that upsets people. When you treat right. everybody the them. same and protect everybody's rights, people mm -hmm. quickly learn that they're going to have the opportunity to speak. There's no reason for them to, right. to fly off the handle in anything, that they're going to have an equal opportunity to present their case as everybody else is. Yeah, and fly, on the, um, fly off the handle. We've seen people in, in meetings do that. And, and, and for me, when I'm, when I'm kind of seeing that kind of behavior, uh, that to me is not necessarily thinking that that person is a bad person. I'm thinking, wait a minute, that person's feeling violated in some way. Their rights are not feeling, they're not feeling protected. And so we need to make sure that they're understanding, though maybe the organization needs to understand how to use Robert's more uh, so that people can feel protected. Yeah, and the idea is not, not to try to squelch differences of opinion or controversy. Those right. differences of opinion and controversy are good things. You just right, do them right. within the structure of these rules, which gives everybody the same rights, gives everybody the same right to speak, mm -hmm. everybody the same right to be heard and vote, so that mm -hmm. everybody's viewpoint is treated equally. Right, right. And, that, I mean, and, and if we could really hear that, and create more environments like that. I mean, think about the creativity and the innovation that could actually be created, that could actually come forth. And so that's why I think Roberts is such a powerful tool, but I find that, that people try to use Roberts, and do you see this in your work? I'm sure you do, where people try to use Roberts as a weapon to help drive their personal agenda forward. Yes, it's, it's, it's not a club for you to impose your will on everybody else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, it, it, it is, it is to maintain book. equal rights, and somebody mm -hmm. who is using it to try to, to, to squelch others is doing so improperly and should be called on it. That's right. And I want everyone out there who's listening really to listen to Mr. Parliamentarian right now. You're not supposed to use it to squelch other people. This is about everybody's rights being respected, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, when, yes. when, when everybody understands how to use Robert's properly, 
mm-hmm. it's almost impossible to manipulate this system. I mean, you, you, you should attend one of the National Association of Parliamentarians conventions. We take <laughs> great pride in trying to outmaneuver each other, right. and it never, <laughs> ever works because it everybody work. knows what to do. And That's everybody right. knows That's the right. rules. So whatever you try, somebody else is gonna gonna call you on it. That's right. We're not it's not about outmaneuvering, it really is about working together. And so Mr. Parliamentarian, Mr. Stewart, I, I really I appreciate our time together and I'm hoping that as people watch this, they understand that, that Robert's Rules of Order really is is to really protect the individual rights and that all individuals have the same rights in those meetings to make your meetings more effective. Thank you again, Jim.